Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our New World series. And let's carry on with what we were doing. And what were we doing? Well, we got a bunch of bullets. I think what we'll do is we're going to run over towards this place. We're going to kind of... I'm going to attack this place. Well, actually... I'm thinking, because we need to make a campaign down to this oil. Because we need more oil deposits. And I think we're going to have to... You cut through here, so let us actually... Go back this way. And I'm actually going to build a road out to the left, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to build a, a road along this belt here. Let's see here. Let's just do it. Plus one more. Perfect. Let's do it this way. There we go. We'll start building out path out this way. And there's some uh, biters down there. There's there's turrets I have set up there. We have this stuff to hook in eventually. Uh, what else do we have over here? Let's actually take this whole biter base thing down here. Because it's starting to become a pain in the butt. Um, so let's let's kind of check on these these things over here. So everybody grab a drink and some tasty treats. And we're going to carry on with the party here. Look at that. Look at that carnage. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's grab this. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Uh, oh, I see, I see. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm just tr trying to look at it to see potentially from where to attack from. And I'm thinking kind of diagonally. So, if that's the case. Aha, the shields are going to be actually really useful. Can't wait, can't wait. Look at that. Can we stand bites? Beautiful. Ah. Uh... Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Shift five. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. This is working. Shift four. Shift three, shift four, shift three, shift four, shift three, shift five. Ah. Uh. Okay, okay, that kind of worked. Worked out a little bit. Let's repair this stuff up here. Okay. Okay, so now we need to bring another run here. Shift three. Okay. Shift three. No, it's shift four. Shift three. Shift four. Shift three. Shift five. Ah, I'm gonna lose one. Crap. Ah, it's so challenging. Those those it's those worms. These crappy things. Okay, shift uh, four. Shift three. Shift four. Shift three. Shift four. Shift three. Uh, shift five. Ah. Ah, it's kind of taking them out, but not. Crap. Okay. Um, maybe we'll start attacking this side. Go this way. Um, shift five. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, come on, repair. Shift 
repair, repair, repair. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I think it's surviving. Okay, let's repair this guy up. Okay, uh, so shift four, shift three, shift four, shift three. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna lose him, we're gonna lose him. Shift five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's check up on our stocks. We're running kind of low. Um, we did take a big dent out of them, so let us actually do this. Let's extend these back. Uh, let's, let's probably pick this stuff up. Okay, let's back off from here. I'm gonna go grab some more bullets. So let's let's do this. So that was a good little run here. Um, we picked up some alien artifacts and stuff. We do need to restock up on. Looks like some red belts. So let us actually do that. Let's restock up on some red belts here. Let's run along the path back. Those are the turrets being engaged. Oh man, this is amazing. This armor definitely is a neat little buffer and it helps. See, we even have this here because I think it's been nighttime maybe. Or it's going into night. I don't know, so it's recharging. So that's, this is really what our life is, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see up here. We have this still running. That's, that's going to run out soon and then this will all disappear. That's pretty neat, right? We got the base happening here. Uh, we're kind of at a standstill. What I want to do is kind of collect up on these red circuits here because we're we do have better production of this, but unfortunately, it's not enough to get this going, right? And we need this as well. Let's see here, so we just have crude. So we need to get more crude, and then that's why we have to campaign down into the south. Uh, so. Let's run up here. We need to make sure we have bullets. We want any, oh, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. So let's stock up on some bullets here. Okay. We do we have any radar units? Maybe grab those guys as well. We'll place this. Shift 5. Okay. Pick that up. Um, 50, 26, maybe grab another one of these. That way we have those, okay. Throw that in there. I don't like those legs. I don't know why, but I just don't. So, what's next? Let's shield mark twos. This would be the power armor. We actually do have all that stuff. So let's actually upgrade to the power armor. Uh, this will have bigger, more slot, a 7x7 seven seven grid instead of 5x5 five five that we have, which means that we could get the port, we could build this reactor and then throw in. Oh, then we could also do the personal roboport. Where is that? Um, ah, this one. We're going to need to research this. But we need oil, so let's go secure that oil first, and then we'll yeah okay, and then we'll do that. Um, so let's grab. How is this for stone? We're out of stone, really? Crap. Okay. Uh, we have to make a stone run eventually. Maybe we'll do that near the end of the episode here. I don't know. I'm kind of watching the not at the time, kind of not. Um, I'm gonna go up until I feel. It's time to cut. <laughs> time to end the episode. So let's run back this way. Okay. So let's see here. Let's do that. Let's let's run down and start campaigning. We don't really have much to to say, really. It's just about expanding down toward that more 
you know, those more oil deposits are. I think that's the the next step here. These are the robo ports here that we have, uh, which are pretty use. Actually, let's place a couple of these guys. So what we need to do is we need to place another robo port. So we need to extend our network, and I think we can place one here quite safely. Um, Okay, so we'll have to move... Oh, no, we can't move this stuff. We'll have to place the road port, like, right here, maybe. So we'll take out the light. Yeah, it's going to have to not be perfect, basically. Is, I think, what it boils down to. So we'll put that right there. So this will power all of that stuff. And then we can actually put the light right here, so it's not a big deal. Okay, then we need to extend it up here. Let's see here. Um, huh, okay, look at that. So we'll have to put it in here somewhere. I'm thinking like right here. So see this orange, the orange box, it's your logistic network. <clears throat> and what you want to try and do is encompass your, your entire base with it. And so we can make adjusts accordingly. And now we do need it in here, so we need to put this one right in here. Okay, so right here where this is. So we'll have to do this. Take that out. And then we can zoom out again. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We can have gaps in this logistics system. We just need to make sure that the boxes fit inside the orange zone. So we're gonna put it right here. I think this is where this one will go, bang. And I think this is kind of like the central part of the base. So right here we're going to put in logistic boxes. These guys. Which they use smart chests which I don't have being made. Not a big deal. So let's do 10. Oh, no, 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 no. Bang, bang. Ah, uh, okay, no. I want to do 10. I want to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there we go. And what this will do is this will allow us storage for our logistic system. And just watch, you'll be, you'll see the coolest thing happen here. As soon as I take a drink from my Slurpee here that I have, for what we call a Slurpee. Which is a frozen tasty treat <laughs> or a frozen tasty drink. So what we'll do is we'll kind of position these in the logistics system. So now that's in the logistics system. Now watch this. Say I don't want something. Hello, my bot. Oh, we should get more bots. So let's see here. Let's pick up a load of bots. This is the one part of the game we haven't gotten to yet, which is, uh So one of these is logistics. The other one of these is construction. Now that will chime into operation. Uh, this will carry on. Hopefully the sulfur will process at some point. Um, yeah, hopefully. So now if we're in the logistics system, which we are, and now if we release these boys okay and then let's release these boys there you go so now we have more construction bots and we have more more um, a logistic robots so there should be 100 of each yeah you see available logistic available construction perfect I think once we get those up to 500, we probably won't need to produce very much more. 
Okay, so we got those in place. We actually used up some resources, which is nice. But see, it took the lights away, if you notice. Right now, the lights are here in the in the system. You can just pick those up. You grab them back, and let's see what else. So, say I don't want. I have oh, extra copper. So let's throw this copper into the system here. And look at that. Woo! My little pretties. Yeah, the robots are coming and doing their thing. That's exciting. Um, so and actually, oops. And actually, what we can do too is that it's in the system. Beautiful. Okay. So we need to create request or chest. <coughs> Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Active provider. So there's these chests. Um, they all have different purposes. So this is a storage chest that the robots use in the logistics system. This chest allows you to request certain you know, items, you know, to that chest to be you know, used for for manufacturing purposes or whatever. Uh, this is passive provider, so you can have this be storage containers and stuff that are like buffers. So, for example, all of these boxes here, I could put into those, in these things, these passives. And so, whenever the system requests steel, then the robots will take from those boxes if there's excess steel you know, built into these. And they're not limited right now, which is exactly. So, for example, let's 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 do this. I'll show you. So now these are passive prov oh, providers, and they will do exactly what I said, which is pretty pretty darn cool. Um, so right-click for five. We need advanced circuits. So let's grab some from our stash here. I actually want to not limit this. I want to do this and just fill it up, but we have to limit it. <laughs> um, or none will get through. Okay. So let's place these boys. Like so. Okay. So those are in place. So now up here, I want to actually put a requester chest. Because what I want to do with these is I want to call in so this can hold so how many slots um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten twenty thirty forty so of uh, what 48 for one for two for three for four for, for five for six for seven 48 okay <laughs> now this is where we gotta whip, whip out the calculator because i can't do this in my head 48 times 500 Probably if you did 48 times 5 and then add a couple zeros. But even that I can't do. Because math is just not my strong suit. So yeah. So wonderful. Okay. So perfect. So anyway. So let's request 24,000. So we're going to just click in here. And then we just choose the item that we want to request. I think alien artifacts are right here. And we can just go... 24,000, we can type the number in. Bang, so what this will do is request all of these guys into here. So for example, say we did this, P put these in our trash slot. Now we got the bots coming up slowly, ever so painfully. So we're gonna have to upgrade their speed. Okay, some are gonna take it to the logistics system. Some are taking it directly up there and so, I apologize if my Slurpee, so they drop them off and then they're taking them back up there because that's the command, right? It's neat watching the, uh, all the plates and the, uh, all that stuff kind of do its thing. You know, the furnaces there. And see, so it puts all those things in those, in that chest. And voila. And then they fly off to, to get recharged and... Yeah, that, that's so cool. I love that. So let's grab some more. Um, 
what is it? We need to grab some more stuff from over here. We need more turrets. Uh, 35. Do that. Oh yeah, and here we can start placing in these passives. Alright, 5, 10, 15. And actually, if we need materials, we can always request them. So that's what's cool too about this. So now, see if you notice we have to make, so let's actually, do we have a chest for circuits? See, we don't. So maybe let's do something similar. Let's do a passive provider. Just like so. Let's do a thing like that and limit it to two stacks and this way then this will be able to provide us materials right uh, what else can we do so we have this one this should be passive provider okay so let's put that one as a passive provider okay what else can we put as passive provider this would be plastic I don't know if I ever need plastic that's already a passive provider, but the bullets, which is not in the system yet. Um, these grenades should be passive provider. And we got bullet uh, shotgun shells passive. These should be both passive already. I think they are. Okay, these are bricks. We might need those. That's concrete. This is stone. So let's actually put that as a passive and then put this one as a requester actually All right requester of right here um, stone it does stacks of 50 so what 24th to uh, so what 240 to 2400 I think is what what we can put Two point four thousand. It should keep this completely full. And if there's any stone in the system, then voila. Right. Let's see here. Man, look at all this work. This housekeeping you have to do. How many more passive provider chests can we place into the system here? These are our regular engines. Um, we might need those. Those are gears. We don't need to put that there. The red engines, logistic robots, why not? Oh, are these already at 50? <laughs> Look at that. Look how quick it produced all that stuff. That's funny. It's because we got the buffer here, and I think this helps. Well, this should be a requester chest. Or, sorry, passive provider. And technically. We should actually do this and put a requester chest in here. And, uh, and then put in like this. Use this as, and then we can request, um, what, 2400 coal? Let's just put it in 2400. There we go, just like so right and so what this will allow us to do let's throw this all in here this will allow us to make sure that there's always coal in here for that just like this right make sure there's always coal in here and let's just do 2400 for the heck of it why not I'm trying to use the slider and the typing method. Might just be faster to type it. Okay, we put that in there like so. Okay, perfect. Uh, what else can we do? What else? This would be sulfur here. Not sure if I need that as anything. Plastics, I'm not sure if I need that. Let's just do quick. We haven't set up anything for these guys. Which we should. Not sure how I want to use this yet. 
So maybe we can do this and do that. And I think we can do this and let's put some power to it. Like so. This way we'll have these in the system and then we can request them on, on will or at will. Um, those are flying frames. We don't need that. We need to put some requesters in here. One there for sure. Grab a couple of these guys. Because we definitely need more of those. I do want these as as passive providers, not requester. Why am I saying requester? I need, I need these all as passive providers. Okay, and we need some more passive providers. Five, ten. Oh, it is using up my boxes. That's cool. We need to break down the iron chest. Because we don't use those anymore. So here's our breakdown thingy. Back into iron plates. I love that. Let's just throw this in here. We need more. Oh, these guys are going to have to be requesters. So like all these things, like, like this. I thought I built these on the assembly. Steel... Oh yeah, up here. Never mind. Okay, perfect. Let's put those as passive. Let's grab... How many do we have? We have 40. That's okay. Um, passive. Passive, passive. That should be passive as well. So should this. And then... Passive. One, two, three. Okay. Good, good, good. Looking good. Uh, let's take a quick peek back in here. Um, five, ten. So now, for example, so you should actually have a chest taking the copper off. thinking about it now it needs to be in the system so where would the best place you be for that well players should take priority so I'm gonna do it right in here we're gonna do passive provider because I want it to be stored in here yeah let's just do it right straight from the belt the belt doesn't matter what side yeah it doesn't matter and then we limit it a couple stacks maybe that way what we can do now is in our system here we can actually pick that we want copper plates and how many do we want to maintain at all the time let's do stack of 100 and then see now they're coming to bring it to me and then this is another pool for them to provide from and I don't know if they take priority out of here versus the here but they do the trick and so now I have a hundred right we can do the same with cop with the, th the steel plates and we should actually take these well these are the passives they're all buffers but you know what I might be able to get away with replacing all of these guys like so. Uh, one more to replace. And we'll actually just put one one thing. Um, let's do it like that. And like that. I put it in the one spot that doesn't have a power pole. That's hilarious. Okay, so we'll do that. So let's see. And let's do two stacks. And then what we can do with that is we can always do the same with steel. Make sure we always have 100 units of steel. Oh, this is so cool to be able to limit this. Mm. 
Exciting times, folks. Exciting times. Yeah, so I think I think that's it here. We're going to do this campaign for down here for the oil. We're going to do that next. And then we're going to work on some trains, I think, to bring the oil up here. And we're going to you know, inject it into our system somehow. Maybe we'll have the trains come in below us here, you know, below these tanks. So what, what I mean by that, I mean, like, come in down. You're just beyond this wall here down in here and then you have them unload the tank uh the the oil you bring up the oil this way and put it into here i think that will be the plan uh, this one's almost out probably so yeah so thank you everybody for watching hopefully it was kind of entertaining a little bit of housekeeping a little bit of working on stuff and but yeah but i look forward to seeing all of you in the next one bye bye